In December 2025, researchers from the Quantum Project Group at the Lebedev Physical Institute of the Russian Academy of Sciences, also known as FIAN, announced a significant milestone with the development of a 70-qubit quantum computer prototype based on ytterbium ions. This system successfully demonstrated a quantum register consisting of 70 qubits and achieved very high operational accuracy, reaching 99.98% for single qubit operations and 96.1% for two qubit operations during preliminary control experiments. The project was implemented as part of Russia's national quantum computing strategy, overseen by the state corporation Rosatom and led by academician Nikolay Kolachevsky. This achievement advances Russia into a new phase of quantum research by combining fundamental physics with potential practical applications in science and industry. Although large-scale, fully practical quantum computers have not yet been realized, this result places Russia firmly among the active global participants in the advancement of quantum technologies. Quantum computing differs fundamentally from classical computing. Classical bits can represent either zero or one, while quantum bits, known as qubits, exploit quantum phenomena such as superposition, which allows a qubit to exist in multiple states at the same time, and entanglement, which creates correlations between qubits that cannot be reproduced by classical systems. These properties allow quantum computers to explore many computational paths simultaneously, offering the potential for exponential speed advantages for certain classes of problems compared to classical computers. A quantum computer containing 70 qubits possesses a quantum register capable of representing two raised to the power of 70 possible states, a number so vast that direct simulation on classical computers becomes impractical at meaningful scales. While this does not automatically provide a practical advantage for every task, it represents a level of complexity at which quantum systems begin to approach or rival classical supercomputers for specific computational challenges. The Russian prototype uses trapped ions, specifically ytterbium ions, which are atoms of a rare earth element, as the physical basis for the qubits. These ions are confined using electromagnetic fields and manipulated with lasers to perform quantum logic operations. Each ytterbium ion can encode two qubits within its internal energy states, enabling the creation of a 70-qubit register at the leading edge of modern ion trap technology. One of the most important aspects of the FIAN quantum computer is not only the number of qubits, but also the precision of its operations. High accuracy is critical because real quantum systems are extremely sensitive to noise and errors, which increase rapidly as the number of qubits grows. The reported accuracy of 99.98% for single qubit gates and 96.1% for two qubit gates is particularly notable for a system of this size and for a prototype device. Improving gate fidelity is essential for running complex quantum algorithms reliably and directly affects the feasibility of implementing quantum error correction, which is a fundamental requirement for scalable and fault-tolerant quantum computing. Error correction remains one of the most significant challenges in the field. Quantum states are inherently fragile, and even minimal interaction with the surrounding environment can disrupt or destroy the stored information. Achieving high operational precision at an early stage before fully error-corrected systems exist provides a strong foundation for the development of more robust quantum architectures in the future. The 70-qubit system forms part of Russia's long-term strategic roadmap for quantum computing, coordinated by FIAN and supervised by Rosatom. This roadmap envisions a gradual evolution toward more advanced quantum devices, with the goal of achieving medium-scale quantum computers by the year 2030 that incorporate effective error correction and can address real industrial and scientific problems using advanced quantum algorithms. Targeted applications include materials science, chemical simulations, optimization tasks, cryptography, machine learning, and data analysis, all areas where quantum computing 
offers theoretical advantages over classical approaches. Although most of these applications remain aspirational today, steady progress in qubit counts, operational accuracy, and algorithm design represents essential steps toward practical use. Rosatom's involvement highlights Russia's view of quantum computing, not merely as an academic pursuit, but as a strategic technology with implications for national security, industrial development, and long-term economic competitiveness. To understand the significance of 70 qubits, it is useful to place this achievement in a global context. In the United States, companies such as IBM and Google have been particularly active in the field. Google's Sycamore processor, which also operates at approximately 70 qubits, demonstrated what was described as quantum supremacy by completing a specialized task in seconds that would take classical supercomputers thousands of years. Although the interpretation and practical importance of this result remain subjects of scientific debate. IBM, meanwhile, has continued to scale its systems, unveiling processors with hundreds and even more than 1,000 qubits, such as the Condor processor with 1,121 qubits, while also confronting challenges related to error rates, coherence, and connectivity. These comparisons illustrate that qubit count alone does not determine real performance. Factors such as qubit quality, coherence time, error rates, and system architecture are equally critical in defining practical computational capability. China has also made substantial progress, reporting competitive quantum processors and simulators using a range of technologies, including photonic qubits, ion traps, and superconducting circuits. Some of these systems have demonstrated quantum tasks that outperform classical simulation for specific problems. Across Europe and other regions, research institutions and companies are developing quantum processors using diverse approaches, aiming for scalability and close integration with classical computing systems. International collaborations are fostering innovation ecosystems focused on quantum computation and communication. Despite rapid progress in qubit numbers, accuracy, and strategic planning, major technical challenges remain before quantum computers can outperform classical systems in everyday applications. Current devices, including the 70 qubit prototype, are classified as noisy intermediate scale quantum systems, meaning they can demonstrate promising physics and limited algorithms, but lack full fault tolerance. Scaling from dozens to hundreds or thousands of high-quality qubits will require advances in hardware design, manufacturing precision, control electronics, and supporting technologies. At the same time, the development of quantum algorithms that deliver clear advantages for real-world problems continues to be an active and essential area of research. In the near term, Practical value is likely to emerge from hybrid systems in which classical computers and quantum processors work together. Designing effective frameworks for such collaboration is an important focus of ongoing research. Although practical quantum computing is still under development, its potential societal and industrial impact is considerable. Quantum simulation could accelerate discoveries in physics, chemistry, pharmaceuticals, and advanced materials by modeling systems that classical computers cannot efficiently handle. Quantum algorithms may also improve optimization in logistics, supply chains, finance, and large-scale data analysis, potentially enabling more efficient use of resources across many sectors. In the field of information security, powerful quantum algorithms could threaten current encryption standards, driving global interest in post-quantum cryptography designed to resist quantum attacks. From an economic perspective, nations investing in quantum technologies aim not only for scientific leadership, but also for long-term competitive advantage. Quantum computing is widely viewed as a foundational technology capable of reshaping entire industries. The announcement of a 70-qubit quantum computer prototype by Russian researchers marks a major milestone in the country's quantum computing journey. With high operational accuracy and a clearly articulated roadmap toward medium-scale systems by the year 2030, 
Russia is aligning its scientific efforts with global developments in this transformative field. Although 70 qubits does not represent the final goal for achieving widespread practical quantum advantage, it reflects growing maturity in quantum research and establishes a strong platform for future progress. As international research continues, a combination of collaboration, competition, and interdisciplinary innovation will shape the evolution of quantum computing toward machines capable of solving real-world problems beyond the reach of classical computers. If you like the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.